Hi guys, Ashley here today and today's video I have for you guys as you can see from the description is an unboxing of my little black bag. Now I'm not going to make that corny joke about how oh it's a little black bag but it comes in a white box. Well I guess I kind of already did. <laughs> um, but yeah so it's going to be the unboxing. This is the first time I've ordered anything from Little Black Bag. Um, the main reason why I did it is because if you know about Little Black Bag, then you would know that they had a giveaway for a Louis Vuitton Speedy. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me try my luck. And fortunately, I didn't win the Louis Vuitton Speedy, which is okay. And congratulations to whoever that, whoever it was that had won. I wish you the best of luck with that bag. Absolutely love Louis Vuitton. So congratulations to you. Um, so this is gonna be an unboxing. It's not even open yet. So. This is, like I said, the first thing that I've ever ordered from um, Little Black Bag. So I'm curious to see what it is that I get. Like, I didn't do any crazy trading or anything like that. Um, it was very basic. I just kind of wanted to stick with the simple stuff, which is kind of why I had only done the um, lower payment option. Now, if you don't know about Little Black Bag, what it is is a monthly subscription and you can purchase items and they come in, there's two different uh, increments that you can use. There's a $29.95, which is gonna give you a little bit of smaller options. And then there is another one um, where you can purchase products that are $49.95 and you're obviously gonna get a lot bigger and better items. Um, but again, I just kind of went with the bare minimum because I wanted to give it a try um, and to see what it was all about. And basically you choose an item and then they give you like three additional items or something like that. Um, I may be wrong because I've never done this before. And then you can like trade with other uh, people who may have something that you want. Uh, vice versa, you may have something that they want so you can trade with them as well. So I'm very excited to open this. Okay, so this is just I guess a packing slip. Just the paper. Oh, okay, so everything comes in this paper thing here. Honestly, I don't even remember what I ordered. This is a little black bag from January. And yeah, I know it's taken me a while to upload, but it is what it is. So it comes with this really cute little tissue paper here, which I'll be saving. Because ladies, you know we save those shopping bags, those gift bags, sorry. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to try not to make this a long video because I'm starving and my partner's upstairs doing food. Okay, so maybe I don't know how this thing works. Like, I thought they give you additional items. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyways, these three items here um, are what I had chose. Now, I'll go to my least favorite, and I'll kind of work my way up from there. Save the best for last. Okay, so the least favorite thing that I purchased, that I picked, were these earrings. I mean, it's what they had given me. I didn't bother to trade anything because really and truly, like, I did not see anything that I wanted to trade. And we're just these dangly earrings right here. Um, they're just a hoop and um, they're just these dangly earrings. And I mean, they're pretty. They're not really my style per se, um, but they're cute. Like, I mean, I may wear them or I just may gift them to somebody that um, would more match the style. Because I don't know, I'm just not really, it's just not my style. Like, at all. No, not my style. Like, they're pretty, it's just, it's not for me. So that's, that'll probably end up getting regifted rather than sitting at home and collecting dust. I love giving gifts away. Then the, I'll save the thing that I actually wanted. Then this thing here, I can't remember what this is. I think this is a necklace. It's a little tangled. Sorry guys. You gotta give me a second here. This is the thing with the unboxing. You can't make sure everything's neat and tidy and laid out and... I don't know this is oh no this was like some kind of like cuff bracelet it's really tangled so this is not going to be a good uh, description of how it's supposed to look but it's gold it's sort of got like a matte gold finish to it and it is a bracelet and I can't figure out and it's got like these like it's got like chain and like these beading I don't know if you can kind of see like these balls that go all around it and uh, yeah it just looks like that and it goes around your wrist like I mean like this is not really doing it any justice but what I can do is after I untangle it because this is a lot I'm not gonna have this recording while I untangle it I can do some pictures and I can include them at the end except for the pictures of the earrings so if I'm gonna be regifting them I'm not gonna put them in my ears um, but yeah it kinda it looks like this this might be better it's got like this gold clasp thing here um, which is kinda cool 
And yeah, I'm really not even too sure what to do with this, to be honest. But I'll figure it out and I'll post a picture. But it's cute. It's pretty. And this is definitely more my style, something that I would definitely gravitate towards if I were to see this at the store. So it's just this piece right here and it kind of looks like that. So it's a bracelet. So I guess you guys can kind of get an idea of um, what it would look like. So it's just a bracelet like that. So that's that. And last but not least, because it's only three items, and this is the main thing that I had wanted, was this cute, cute, cute piece here. And of course, it's tangled. It's a lot, um, I don't know, in the picture, it looked like it was more of a shiny gold, but this is more of like a rustic, kind of like um, tattered gold, like a stained gold, more of like a wear and tear, you know what I mean? Basically when gold, when fake gold starts to turn, this is what this looks like, which I'm totally fine with. I just thought it was gonna be more of like a vibrant, true, like, you know, 14, 10 karat gold color. But it's just this cross necklace right here. It's like this cross dagger. I hope you guys can see it. And if you can see like the colors, it's like pretty dull, but it was super cute. Like I really wanted something like that. Like you're not seeing anything when I put it up to my chest, but it's um, a small necklace it's with a very thin, um, small chain. So it's going to sit right up on my neck area. It'll sit up very uh, high on my neck. Oh, my hair is tangled. It'll sit up very high on my neck, but yeah, super cute. I like it. So overall, um, I do like little black bag. I mean... I think that if I were to go with the $49.95 option, I'd probably have a lot better stuff to show you guys, like nice purses and bags, which I absolutely love bags. So I think that the next time that I do try it, I'll probably go for the $49.95 option. And uh, so far, so good. Like I have no complaints. The only complaint that I do have is that because it is a US company and I do live in Canada, I had to pay additional duty. So that was a little bit of a turn off. I don't remember how much I paid extra. I think it was like an extra like 12 bucks. But I mean like, $12 is still $12. I could use that $12 to get myself a Big Mac. But um, anyways, I mean, other than that, it was fun. I'll definitely try to do the $49.95 option next time. And the thing about Little Black Bag is it is a monthly subscription. So at the beginning of the month, I believe it's between the 1st and the 5th. If you don't like hit their unsubscribe or skip this month, then they're going to automatically charge your credit card. So I have a reminder set in my phone that the beginning of the every month, if I don't want it, if I don't like anything that I see, or if I just don't feel like spending the money on anything, then I'll automatically skip it. So if you do do that, I strongly suggest that you put a reminder in your like your agenda, your calendar, your iPhone, Blackberry, whatever mobile, mobile device, device bleh, that you have that way you're not getting charged $49.95 or $29.95 for items you don't even really want. So that's my tips for you. I hope you guys like this video and I will definitely have more videos for you soon. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.